Welcome back, everybody, one and all. We're going to be uh, wrapping up our thoughts on the Indiana Jones series at large. And then, of course, uh, reacting to the Dial of Disappointment. <laughs> and uh, while we do that, we'll be playing Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Ooh. It's kind of infamous, <laughs> more than famous, for being uh, extra janky, That's especially with like the controls. Hear. That's what I like to hear. So uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, Addison's starting us oh. out. Well, the mouse is not doing anything. <laughs> Wait, what? Um... Oh, nothing's... Uh, Wait, what? Okay, W-A-S-D does nothing. Well, S sidesteps. No. Wait, X, is, X jump. is jump. Space Spacebar takes out the gun. Does it fire? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Can I fire with the thing out? Yo. Wait, con control. the right <laughs> control... Next the to left the control too. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so control is Shift shoot. Does nothing. What, dude? What the fuck? Do we really have to sit here and fucking? Oh my god. Maybe jump. Okay. Nice. All right. See, look. Let's climb. Let me see if jumping. Enable mouse. Oh. What is it? Oh, no, I don't like that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, no, no, you're no. caught in a perpetual spin now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck that. I like how we've gotten stuck four seconds into the game. We jumped over a, a hole in the ground, and that's it. going to be janky. Oh, shit. I swear to God I hit X. Nice. Okay. That's jump. We're moving, we're grooving. It just wasn't responding to my jump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, was all, it was also crawl, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yes, it was. Oh, my God. Not really anything to say on the first three. I had just told you that um, I kind of wanted to touch just a little bit more small rant, uh, junior rant, kids meal rant on that Spielberg quote that we flashed briefly on the screen where he's essentially scolding Shia LaBeouf for giving his honest opinion on Crystal Skull. Because what I was saying to you after we made the video, because I had just been thinking about it, and it's like, you want to sell cars, and what I said to you is like, but you're selling a limit. Like, you're ripping people off. Yeah. You're, you're not selling a car that works. You're selling uh, something you slap together. Yeah, exactly. That's going to kill people. <laughs> it really fucking pisses me off because Harrison Ford and Steven Spielberg take this very, like, teacher's pet or company man thing of, like, how dare you, you know? How dare you say what you actually think about this thing that you were involved in, too? But then, like we pointed out, they get to do it when they want to. You know, Spielberg can be like, I hate aliens. I think it's dumb, too. I said, George, I don't want to do aliens. The thing with me is that it, 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 it's going to sound really fucking stupid because I don't mean it this seriously. Because, like, let's be honest, Crystal Skull was the last time that the name Steven Spielberg, St Steven Spielberg, <laughs> <laughs> resistance is futile. <laughs> Crystal Skull was the last time that the name Steven Spielberg or Harrison Ford got me in a seat. And really, it was Indiana Jones, not necessarily even them. But yes. my whole thing is, when you take that approach of no matter what I make, no matter how I personally feel about it, I'm going to sell it to you as like this great thing that I'm really excited about, that we all worked really hard on, and you should go see it. Yeah. Why should I go pay theater ticket money to go see your future stuff? Because now I know, like, what you sold me here? this turd as, yeah. like, a Louis Vuitton bag, yeah. you know? And well, we're like, it's they're... hip, it's stylish, you're going to love it. And then it's like, it was fucking yeah. bad. And you know they're going to do it every time a new one comes around. I mean, they did it with Dial of Destiny, too, even though they had basically no involvement with it. They're out, you know, kind of. George less so, but Spielberg's out there a little bit being like, oh, it's great. Oh, wow, I saw Dial of Destiny. Wow, it's so great. And you know, in probably five to six years, he's going to be like, I didn't think it was very good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His legs hit that thing and my boy crumpled. Oh, I probably should have fucking saved it. I think it's just a jump. Like one of those that looks like it's too far. Because it's just almost too far. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, why does that sound like he shit his pants? <laughs> yeah, you got this, dude. You're gonna be. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Fucking thing sucks! <laughs> oh, whoa! It was like a mega jump. That was like a Spider Man jump. Hmm. That thing looks whippable. That thing looks whippable. <laughs> this 4th of July, celebrate Indiana Jones 5, the Dial of Destiny at Six Flags. Come into Build-A-Bear and build a younger, better, smooth-skinned bear and leave with tickets to Dial of Destiny. It's your destiny to travel the seas, book two rooms on any carnival <laughs> cruise vacation and receive free tickets to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Sign up for Disney Plus to unlock your one month free trial of destiny and catch up on all that grave robbing, a <laughs> grave robbing action you've been Indiana Jonesing for. Oh, that, <laughs> okay. is that the one? That's the one. The trial of destiny is great. I would definitely forget to cancel the trial of destiny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what we want. <laughs> no, I love it. Cause I mean, this, this movie already had the weirdest marketing of all time. Like it kept getting stranger and stranger it was like descending into the circles of hell of marketing hell you know it was no it was kind of like a skit yeah that like started off like okay huh and then by the end you're like okay what yeah the fr i remember the first one so I you saw guys aren't that, selling any <laughs> yeah yeah exactly the first one i saw was uh it's like uh, the nba finals were happening and yeah. there's this weird esoteric kind of ad for both at the same time where yes. like indiana jones is walking by giant statues of Dwayne wade it's it's so so strange I mean, the, yeah. the next move is they're just going to be doing those, like, temple run kind of videos <laughs> where it's just going to be, like, half of the screen is dedicated to one thing and half of the screen is Dial of Destiny promo footage. Right, yeah, no, for real. Yeah, the best we can figure is just no one wanted to see this movie. And yeah. so they were just like, we'll just put it everywhere. Like, yeah. Applebee's? Do you want to go to Applebee's and get some sizzling fajitas? We'll give you a free ticket, please. You can literally just eat dinner somewhere and then you'll also just get free tickets because please god please <laughs> please come see it oh a little sick <laughs> but that's all you get yeah just the Ugh. whoa <laughs> oh du double whoa. trap door holy shit oh whoa go up for air oh god your meter's how going do, how do i move you better how do i move it out. <laughs> wait <laughs> <laughs> If this is the prize, I'll lose my grant for sure. Where are the priceless artifacts? The gilded idols? The crowns of kings? <laughs> Where's all the glorious treasure for me to steal? All right, so Dial of Destiny. Yeah. <sighs> all right, so James Mangold apparently is just really upset that he wasn't alive in time to direct a Indiana Jones movie with Harrison Ford in his prime. And so he's just admitted, I just thought we'd do that. We'd just start the movie with something impossible. Yeah. I felt like I wanted the chance to make a movie with a young Harrison. The ambition in me wanted to crack at it. Well, it's like you said, really that first shot that they use in the trailer where they pull the bag off of his head yeah. looks very, I, I will say very good for what we've seen from this technology. Yeah. It is probably, I would say, as far as I've seen, I, I probably haven't seen every instance of, of the de-aging effect. Thank fucking God it would haunt me. But um, it's definitely the best that I've seen so mm. far. That first yeah. shot. The it exactly. gets <laughs> weird fast. We kept being like, whoa, yeah. whoa, what was that? Whoa, whoa. the eyes are <laughs> the all kind of weird. Oh my God. There's a part where the building he's in as he's being held by the Nazis, because of course he's been captured by Nazis. It's the Jesus Nazis. Fucking Christ. Spielberg was like, I wouldn't do Nazis again. And James Mangle was like, well, I would. Nice. Be Snake killer. Look how the, t <laughs> look at it when it's dead, the serpent stomper. This bomb hits the building and he like scrambles away from the, the edge of this hole in the floor. And it looks crazy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no. That looked really bad. That, was that didn't even look like Harrison Ford. It didn't sound like him either. Oh, God. Aha. Uh -huh. Gym collector. 
It's like a it's like a spider or something scrambling around. It just doesn't look right at all. They didn't get the the human motion of it. I don't and I don't yeah. the whole thing was I was like goofing on it the whole time being like, you know, was this just each apparently it's fucking Harrison Ford. Uh, I don't know if that shot was because that's like a that was probably a stunt guy. Maybe a stunt guy or something, but it just fucking looks He's in a lot of it. Terrible. <laughs> 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 hot shirts and i feel like if you were gonna do something like that you need to do five minutes yes. seven minutes it goes on and on and on and i'm like man they're really confident in how this looks and they yeah. should maybe be a little less confident a little less confident because yeah there's a point i mean when he gets like on the train he's yeah. like walking through the train cars we were like oh they're still going with this thing. yeah just putting him in full lighting full light yeah and everything lots of dialogue and the voice doesn't match old harrison ford voice doesn't match with young harrison ford face i can't tell if they even did any de-aging to the voice it kind of just sounds he says weird. in behind the scenes like oh i i know that my voice has changed and so i can like raise it up a bit make it a little higher and it's like not really, not really. you can't because like we were we were joking saying it sounds like a fucking skyrim npc he's just like oh you have the relic i see you know <laughs> yeah exactly shoot him oh shoot, shoot him, him. really Look at that little wheel spin. <laughs> Look at that little wheel spin. <laughs> <laughs> the hair oh, hider. I love it. The hair hider 5000, dude. I love that. But yeah, I mean, that whole intro sequence is like, you know, he's on the Nazi treasure train and they got all the fucking ancient sacred artifacts like piled on top of each other, just laying in the crates. And Except if you need to know where the spear of Longianius or whatever the fuck it is, is, is because that one is, is very well labeled yes. and seen from afar. <laughs> yeah, everything else is just thrown in a fucking uh, a bin. Luckily, there is a real artifact on the train. Which again, he knows yeah. immediately. He, well, that one's real, clearly. <laughs> There's half of the Antikythera mechanism on the train. I don't know, that's so lame to me that it like, I mean, those intro sequences are supposed to be about a different artifact, but like the real artifact that the movie's about just happened to be on the train full of fake shit. And yeah. it's like, but that, but this one's real though. Wait, look around, maybe there's some treasure. What is that going to? Why is that there? What's this fucking box doing? Huh? What are you here for, bud? So that, you know, they're doing the whole train... Punching Nazis. Thing, bunch of Nazis. The Nazi turret on the train breaks and starts killing all the Nazis on the train. This, this was an early red flag for me <laughs> of like, oh, we don't really care about any sense of plausibility. I mean, I get it. It's an action movie, you know, but that is like... Because here's the thing. Like if, it, if it killed three dudes that were climbing up that one part, they're yeah, climbing right, outside right. the caboose or whatever, okay. Whatever, it's stupid, but okay. It keeps, it shoots through every fucking train car. Every <laughs> character that, that the lives way. ducks has to duck under it and be like, yeah. <gasps> this is ridiculous. It's just taking out all the Nazis, just the broken know, gun. It's like, okay. Socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural powers. Those doctrinaire apparatchiki. I love the dialectics going on here. <laughs> Yeah, it really is like Indiana Jones is really what it really is. It's just a con con contemplating the uh, futility of economic theory in the face of the supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> the stretching of plausibility does not stop there because the main villain chases them on top of the train, then takes a uh, steel pipe straight to the dome. I lost it. <laughs> I fully fucking lost it. <laughs> Wait, doesn't that character live? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. your brains are splattered across the forest at that point. 
And of course, we know he's showing back up later. So we're just sitting there like, so he's dead, right? How do they resurrect this villain? Just shattered skull. That's his like red skull uh, persona. Shattered skull. Shattered skull, yeah. I was thinking like at the very least, he should look like that that pink orc that takes back Osgiliath yeah. in two hours, you know? <laughs> like he, he should have at least been severely <laughs> deformed after that. But like, but they could have done something with that. They could have done like the really scarred Nazi bad guy, you know, with half of his right? face is like... Which I didn't even think about in the moment we were talking about it afterwards. It's like, yeah, it's kind of perfect. Yeah. And then he's just completely fine. Yeah. Completely fucking fine. He's riding on top of a train <laughs> and his face <laughs> runs into a metal pole, knocking him off the train. So there's enough force for that. And they couldn't, I think you said they couldn't come up with a different way to get him off the train that wouldn't have like yeah. instantly murdered him. Yeah. But so then uh, finally we get off of AI Harrison Ford and wake up Joe Biden <laughs> wake up he's startled awake by his neighbor's music which is like kudos to Harrison Ford he sold he might have actually been asleep and they roused him with something some interesting sounds here Ooh, I like this yeah it's kind of cool oh dude are we doing water it looks like it. I do not like water in video games yeah they they went full on with ornery elderly divorced dad whiskey in the coffee Indiana Jones yeah because that's the thing we find out that Marion has left him and has sent him the papers to finally dissolve papers. their beautiful marriage that we've seen bloom in between movies so yeah he's he's just fucking he's day drinking yeah going to work drunk fucking yeah. Like oh, it just it. looks like a bottomless fucking pit below you, and I don't like it. <laughs> he specifically brings up the Siege of Syracuse, and that's where we get introduced to his goddaughter, Wombat. She catches up to him at the bar where he's getting more drunk because his alcohol is wearing off after class, and they reunite because they haven't seen each other in many years, which is why he doesn't recognize her, and, and thus begins, really, the Dial of Destiny. Ah. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. it this is oh this God. is what like Dial of Destiny should be like. It's just him just trying to <laughs> falling in the water <laughs> yeah, over and over yeah. again. He she's keeps like, climbing God back damn it. <laughs> oh hell no, I'm getting yeah, up she's there. on the other side waiting for it. <laughs> she's like smoking a cig. He's like, I'm gonna hold on. What hold on? <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> okay, this is this is the one. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Fucking save saving that his, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be this dude. Save cool. it. <laughs> <laughs> There are Nazis who have also hooked up with, like, CIA people and are also trying to get the Dial of Destiny. Mads Mikkelsen is not at all trying to conceal the fact that he's a Nazi. Not eating anything on wheels. He don't eat anything on wheels. So put it on a table. <laughs> <laughs> he don't eat anything on wheels? <laughs> That's his character quirk. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat anything on wheels. <laughs> Whoa, oh shit he's spazzing so he's a you know project paperclip scientist who's working at the university of alabama <laughs> professor schmidt of alabama university <laughs> <laughs> alabama <laughs> the gayest state of the union it's so good i don't know if that's like a historical thing yeah. like nasa was collaborating with them or something, so they felt like they had to but like yeah. that was so fucking funny dude <laughs> Well, I'm not going back to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that's ever left Alabama. We were saying that there's not many shots of him running. Almost every shot is him beginning to run or like coming Stopping. to a stop. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, I get it. He's so old, but also very funny. But so, of course, 
uh, he gets away from the Nazis and goes to track down Wombat as she goes to try and make big bucks off of the Antikythera mechanism. Yes, they both converge on Morocco. We get a brief fan service cameo from Sala, everybody's best friend, I guess. <laughs> Sala's like, come on, man, we can get back out there. <laughs> I still got it. I could help you in Tangier. Whatever chance takes us. <laughs> yeah. I miss the desert. Even if it takes us to some big booty holes. <laughs> I miss waking up every morning wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. This is not an adventure. I want to die out there, India. <laughs> and Indiana Jones is like, no. I'm going yeah. without you. <laughs> and he just leaves him there. I was convinced Saul was gonna go. I, I really thought he was. And I was like, please don't do this. <laughs> because this is, we're already like <laughs> stretching my disbelief. It's gotten this far, but cannot withstand <laughs> fucking Sala and Indy asking the people next to him on the international flight, like, are you gonna eat your fruit? We get to Morocco. Indy confronts Wombat as, as she's trying to sell uh, the dial. And Indy's like, no. And she's like it's capitalism because again these movies are an economic treatise uh, yes. a treatise yes yeah the nazis show up and then yeah we get a, another very forgettable fight scene and this was one of the first ones where we were like we know what's happening here we know how this is gonna go and we were wrong because we were like, this is going Temple of Doom style. Oh, they've got the thing. Oh, they just handed it off. They, they the dropped thing. it off the mezzanine kind of deal. No, we get a tuk-tuk chase. I know we all had that on our bingo list. It's the classic tuk-tuk chase, that old chestnut. Can you bounce off that awning? Can I wall bounce? Dude. Oh, my God. No, and so we were saying, we were kind of like surprised when we watched the behind the scenes because they're showing how they like actually did some of the stunts yeah. uh, for some of these shots, but it doesn't feel like it when you're watching it. And I was like trying to think like, why is that, yeah. you know? And I, I do wonder if part of it is that the first 30 minutes of this movie, I just watched an obviously fake young Harrison Ford scrambling around like a glitching video game. And so like, I feel like in my brain at that point, it was just kind of like checked out. Like this isn't real. None of this is really real. And so like yeah. when they're like, we slid the tuk tuk down 15 tiny stairs. Like, I don't know. Like maybe I'm just never going to register it because Whoa. I've accepted that this is just a, an animated movie essentially. But I think you described it really well because you were like, there's like this smudge yeah. quality to it. I was like, that's what it is. Cause you can never really make out like what's the, what the background is, what they're driving past. It's, it's just smudgy this blur, smudgy of, blur yeah. of just like approximated color of that environment. <laughs> It's and then it's cut so fast and yeah. you're just like, whoa, whoa. Exactly. It's so quick that I literally I don't know why they did it. Yeah. When they clearly CGI'd so many other fucking things in that. Yeah, why? Why did why you do bother? that? I literally think it's like the fucking uh, Jurassic World shit. Where they're mm. like, This is like an ode to how we used to make movies. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. They're like, We're gonna spend three hours uh with sliding this tuk tuk down a few stairs into a bunch of cushioning and it's gonna feel like we're actually actually doing it again boys also at this point we you said while we were watching it like i didn't realize there was going to be a short round kind of character yeah like a child sidekick character yeah or... we get teddy who's like i mean actor's not bad no, but it's just it's like oh it's teddy it's teddy yeah, yeah i don't know uh, i think he's supposed to like bring a little more vitality <laughs> to, <laughs> to the movie because like <laughs> <laughs> like maybe you can cancel out Harrison such Ford's a good, like, uh, age with his uh, that's youth. That's such a good you know? PR way to put that. <laughs> I could see one of the producers saying that. We just really wanted to bring more vitality to the cast, you know? <laughs> I want him to see me. Or am I supposed to like jump onto one? That's what I was wondering, but I don't think so. Or are you? Because didn't he say that's my passport? Because look at the way the door's shaped. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I literally think that's for a person. I think you're right. Oh my fucking god, no way. Yeah, that's why they keep coming, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> oh, you can jump on it from there, probably, though. Oh, yeah, maybe so. No! 
so yeah, he's around doing his thing. While they're in Morocco, Indy has been like one of my best lifelong friends, my BFFs, my bestie, who is a diver, is going to help us out because we have now located where the, what is it? The cal the Galincus? The, 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 the Graphicus? The graf Graphicus? Graphic, the Graphicus or the Graphicus? The Graph... The Graphicus. The gra Fuck, it's the something like that. It's the other the half of the... Graphics. Is it the other half of the dial or is it the thing that's no, going to lead them, lead to, them God, to the dial? God, yeah. I'm so sick of these movies. Yeah. Find the thing and then, oh, that's only half of the thing. So now we have to find the thing that will allow us to find the other half of the thing so we can write act three. No! <laughs> so close. No! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, I'm right here. Let's fucking go! Look, I was fucking right. But it's li it's, it's literally but it's built hilarious. for him to fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That is. Oh god damn it! So Indy's like, you know, we're gonna go meet my my sponge diver friend. Yeah. An expert diver with a big beautiful boat. <laughs> it's a big beautiful boat. <laughs> <laughs> that is where we envisioned what could have been the greatest twist for this movie. Yeah, because Helena says something about, oh yeah, we're gonna go dive at this shipwreck. This there's, Roman shipwreck. There's hundreds of centurion skeletons down there. Mm -hmm. and, and we were like, oh, we know what's coming. Here we go, baby, skeleton fight. Skeleton hundreds fight. Of skeletons filled with the skeletons of over a hundred centurions and off i want like a jason and the argonauts type yeah that's what i thought seen yeah. underwater with the dead centurions all those skeletons and he's not gonna fight any of them surely these things are coming to life yes and they are going to try to do battle with indiana jones on the bottom of the ocean clearly isn't that what we're leading up to like here? guys we all saw crystal skull we know how stupid they're willing to get. Let's just go. Like, this movie's been pretty fucking boring so far. Like, let's turn this motherfucker up, you know? Like, let's tear the crazy. roof off the sucker, you know? Yeah. Underwater skeleton sword fight. Fight the skeletons. Fight the skeletons. If one of these skeletons doesn't fucking get a... <laughs> fight him. Fight him. We were so ready, <laughs> and then it just doesn't happen. Yeah. And we kind of couldn't let it go. Like, no. There's multiple other places that skeletons popped up, and we were like, come on. This is it. This is it. It's finally going to happen. You can redeem yourself here and it's finally not too have late. a skeleton, a skeleton <laughs> warrior come to life. We've got to get out of here. There's skeleton warriors everywhere. We gotta get out of here before these skeletons come to life and start fighting me. But no, we just get eels. 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 Yeah. Which is just like this movie's creature thing. Like they've done the bugs and the rats and the snakes. Yeah, we just do uh, the eels. eels, the snake of uh, the marine world. That's what they are called often. Yeah. Often, often <laughs> marine snakes. And it's just so Wave lame. Wave snakes. It's just so lame. And then at the same time, the Nazis have fucking driven a boat up and they're like cutting their oxygen hoses and that's supposed to add to the tension. That's the thing. They kind of, I think, knew that the eels were kind of lame and weren't really a good because they did that. And then they do bugs again. They do later. bugs later. They're like, so the eels weren't good, right? You want some bugs? We'll get some bugs in here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> hey. Slide to the left. Slide to the left. Yeah, it won't go back. Okay. I'm going to hand it back to you here in a minute. Well, that, Wait, looks, that looks whippable. Is it whippable? That thing up there. <gasps> it's whippable. What do I do? Uh, Hit one. Yeah. I, <laughs> Every time you whip across so something, it's <laughs> fucking funny, dude. God damn, that's awesome. <laughs> That's all you need, really. They're like, you're good, right? <laughs> um, but so then it's like really fucking sad because Indy's bestie gets shot. And it's like, dude, we love this character so much. I mean, we've grown up with this character, clearly. 
Yeah. yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up? Ha! You watched your buddy get blown up and you really thought this was a good idea, motherfucker? <laughs> then we get our fun little decode, the, the Graphitidicus, whatever the fuck it's called, and Wombat brilliantly tricks the Nazis. She misleads them. Crawl, baby. Crawl for me. Uh-oh. Time to do a little cave diving. They do this hilarious bit where she's got like a bit of dynamite. Yeah, it's like some Looney Tunes. Indy's trying to light it off a SIG and it's just like not working. It takes them like 30 seconds as they're just like sitting there in front of like three of the fucking Nazis. (laughs) She's doing her whole like... Polybius B. Yeah, I don't know. This whole character is just kind of like... They really are... They're trying to do a Harrison Ford type character. Yeah. She's kind of like the charming rogue who's kind of an asshole and selfish. But knows just enough to justify their douchiness. Yeah. Because they actually know what they're doing. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, where are we going? Where are we... Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, maybe this is it? Tell me this is it. I just want this to be like a maze. <gasps> There's it a second is. level, yeah. dude. I can take over if you want. This is my nightmare. I know. <laughs> I just didn't think she had like really any redeeming qual at least at this point in the movie, she has zero redeeming qualities. They literally try. They're like, look, she when Teddy tried to steal her bag one time, she adopted him essentially. And now they work together and have this kind of weird relationship where he kind of seems like he's like into her. Yeah. He's like jealous. She's like showing off fits for her. Like, what do you think? And then he's like, oh, Indy's here to fuck it all up for our fucking date to Greece or wherever the fuck. It doesn't seem like a fresh character because it's not. It's like you said, she's kind of just another Indiana Jones. But like more snarky. Yes. And kind of like obnoxious. doesn't really make the character likable. No. Full (laughs) box. She's just a riot. She's like betraying people. And it's like, I don't care what anybody thinks. Why do I care what my dead father would think? Like, you're just like, okay. I mean, yeah, yes, fuck him, sure. So they melt the wax that is around the real second MacGuffin, third, fourth, fifth MacGuffin. This is solid gold? It's the new cheesy gordita crunch from Taco Bell. Oh, oh! (laughs) Stop! Yo, that was perfect. Uh, oh my fucking dude, you did a straight up like those videos you see of dudes diving into like rivers and shit, like clay, uh, cliff jumping and shit. It gave me a cliff little, diving, a little ditty and everything. And they find out where they actually need to go to recover the other half of the dial. Fucking finally, mistake. Barriers. Oh, there's a gear thing, and you've got the piece to fit in it, motherfucker. Two hours in. That's the other thing. This is a two and a half hour movie, and it should not be. Wow. 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 Where do we go then? They go to the cave and, and have a sing along. <laughs> it doesn't seem like an Indiana Jones thing. The character, you mean? The character, yes. Yeah. She should have sung out. He should have given her a look. Right. Like, what are you doing? He goes, he's like, ha la la la. It's time for our duet. Gets his Pavarotti up. And, and this is again where we could have had some sick fucking skeleton fights, but there's no skeleton fights to be had. And we just get the other half of the dial. Can I like crawl in here? <laughs> I was about to say, do we go in there? Maybe it looks not. like there's something else. Oh! Oh! oh. Hey, yikes. Maybe my fucking sphincter tingle. Have we already figured out the, or is this where we figure out what the dial really does? No, I guess that is when they figure it out. Because the Nazis, meanwhile, are doing a Goonies type thing with Teddy. This is literally the Goonies. It literally. I'm so glad you mentioned this because I totally forgot that. It's just the fucking Goonies. That it's whole like sequence is the fucking Goonies and yeah. the fucking Fratellis coming after them. What's the matter? You worried about the kid? No, I'm worried about the Fratellis catching up to us. Coming to life. 
really thought it was one eye wheelie for a second. Oh, I thought they were going to go all the way down an underwater uh, water slide to the, hey. to the pirate <laughs> ship. So, yeah, they figure out, I guess, what the dial does. And then the Nazis show up, take everybody hostage. Yeah, now we're all going to go, of course, to the thing together. They take Indiana Jones and then... Teddy finally gets to show off that his simulator actually did teach him to fly. So he flies in a different plane. Oh, Helena man. drives up on a motorcycle oh, in a Fast and the yes. Furious 7 hmm. scene and climbs into the wheel well of the airplane. Uh-oh. <gasps> no. 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 This is where things get weird because we find out that our, our Nazi antagonist, his plan is to go back in time and kill Hitler. You're gonna kill Hitler? <laughs> what kind of Nazi kills a Fuhrer? Oh my God, they are. <laughs> they did the bit. It's just unbelievable that they did that. It's so fucking stupid. Oh, that's a trap right there, right? Is it? The way the spikes are there. Sp what's Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Okay, oh, we crawl, finally got a, a booby trap, though. That's pretty Yeah, good. that's true. Indiana Jones then realizes that there's a, actually a flaw in their plan. And, and where Homie thinks he's uh -huh. going to go to, what, like 1939 Austria yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Indiana Jones goes, oh my God, Archimedes, who built this device that you're using to make your calculations, didn't know about continental drift. Marduk made appear unto him who builded the great It's engine. built, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on. Just headbutt it. Fucking smash your face. <laughs> what? Now, he's saying this as they're headed toward a portal. They're looking at it. They're, they're staring straight right at fucking it. at it. But that's the thing, too. He, the implication when he says it is that continental drift affected not where the portal would be, because it's pointing towards where they're going. The continental drift affected what year the portal sent them back to. Yes. Because he goes... I don't know where we're going, but it's not 1939. Your calculations are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love Harrison Ford for giving it all he's got in that moment. He because he has he's been saving that up for ten years. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a piece of shit. No, that's the down button, homie. <laughs> oh, that's um, so funny. Is that the only thing I Baby, can do? Baby, you do hit it. I swear to God, though, if you hit it and it goes back down, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was <up> <laughs> There's like, so there's multiple portals. I don't know how he keyed into that. Like there's portals everywhere at that point, like in different locations in the sky that you can fly through. And depending on which one you go through, you go to a different point in time. Is that, I think there's just one. But that's the implication. Like you're mm. saying, like if he's like, oh, he didn't know about continental drift. And so this is the wrong portal, right? I guess so. Right? It doesn't, it doesn't make, make sense. It makes absolutely no sense. And it doesn't ultimately fucking matter. Because then we go through the portal and initially the antagonists, the villains believe they were correct and they have been successful. Except then what do they see? <gasps> Warships. And they realize that they have not flown back into the first half of the 20th century. They have in fact flown back to the siege of Syracuse. Mwah, mwah. 
Who yeah. saw that coming? I wonder if the lecture at the beginning was going to play in somehow. There's the puppet show yes, in right. Morocco, maybe, yes. or wherever the fuck it is that's yes. doing the Battle of Syracuse with yeah. the dragon. And then they also find a frieze that depicts a propeller. Mm. That's weird. Uh, and so, yeah, of course, Here we are. Uh, these are the dragons depicted at the Siege of Syracuse. The, these planes that uh, the Nazis and Teddy are flying. So now they're like kind of like taking part in the battle while also, you know, Indy and Wombat are trying to get away from the Nazis. Once Indy and Wombat successfully get away from the Nazis, we get the lamest villain death literally like imaginable in this franchise it's not even an on-screen it's just like nothing it's just like a dolly shot into his face him and the the american guy then cut plane crash and then you later see his body like burned burned and it's like dude we've had guys had their head explodes had like head melted yeah head melted like fire come out out from inside somebody fallen off a cliff and eaten by crocodiles the villain death is like a well-known trope of these movies like exactly it's one of the more notable things that they do in indiana jones movies what a disappointment this shit is that's how they died <laughs> there's some health there nice whoa oh shit you can lean out <laughs> stop but you can't like control when it happens Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally tried to like bait him out and he wouldn't do it. All right. I'll spin around. <laughs> spin, 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 spin. spin. Like, we put this tree right no, where the guy no. stands. Oh my God, yes. No. Oh look, you're up look, you're hiding behind the tree though. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky Indiana Jones. Oh, look how cinematic it is. <laughs> God <so> damn. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Did you see that? That fucking angle was crazy. So let me just say, we called Teddy's f flying abilities coming into play, which they did called that something about Helena's magic show would have something to do with it. Mark. Is that foreshadowing for something? We called that they were going to go way further back in time than they meant to. We fucking called, sarcastically, but we called that they were going to actually show Arca fucking Medes. And they do. As you pointed out in the most history channel ass looking shit I've seen in years. It looks so bad. Like really bad. This is like one of those um, really low budget shows on like a TBS or something, you know? Like the, remember the, the Hercules show with Kevin Sorbo? Yes. <laughs> Somehow, even at this point, I did not think they would be ridiculous enough to like have them meet and have a conversation. We may have called that too. Yeah, once they kept cutting back to Archimedes, I was like, yeah, oh yeah, it was gonna happen. Oh my God, stop. He's gonna, he is, he is. He's gonna have a fucking conversation with Arca <laughs> fucking Medes. Stop, stop. <laughs> it's almost like satire of the Indiana Jones franchise. Like we were saying, like if you've done four movies, the, the, the four movies that exist before this, and you're like, where do we go with Indiana Jones? The joke is that someone's like, oh, Indiana Jones has been studying history what if he becomes it? And yeah, it's like, literally. that's literally what they fucking try to do because yeah. like yeah. earlier, I guess in the plane, he gets fucking capped. So at this point, he's like bleeding out. Mm -hmm. Helen is freaking out because in the last fucking 10 minutes of the movie, she has character development. It just all happens as soon as she realizes that he's, and he's like, leave me here. <laughs> we were joking. Like, like every fucking boomer, yeah. like uh, that's every actually like dad. Harrison Ford's age yeah. is just like, God, if I, fucking died in battle in in 450 uh <laughs> ad god yeah. uh what a way to go out oh, wow. what a fucking way to go out like a legend 
is hilarious. So he's literally like, no, leave me. Leave me. Leave me. <laughs> Which I don't, here's my whole thing. Why does it matter? Aren't you going to die? Like, you're going to die. You're an 85-year-old man who's who got shot 15 minutes ago. I don't, and there's, like, I don't. actually a war going on right now. Like, but yeah, there's just a war waging around him and he's like, no, Wombat. Leave me here. This is where, this is where I want to die. I've imagined this. I've imagined this forever. And I thought for a second they were actually going to do it. We were convinced. We like, were fully convinced. The ancient, the, the gumpification of Indiana Jones has hit new levels. He is now a part of ancient history. It won't budge. That's just the one... I can't open it. That's the one that please got us in me, here. Please tell me you locked yourself in. That's literally the one that got us in here. Is it? Yes. It won't budge. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did you just lock yourself in? No, 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 no. That's the one. No, it's oh, not. Oh, my fucking God. You locked yourself We're into this room? In here. It's a door, but I can't <laughs> seem to open it from this side. Why would they even make it where you could do that? Why is that? Why? Why? Dude, this is maybe the best end to this video <laughs> ever. Locked we just room. locked ourselves in a fucking room. Wait, can you climb up on these boxes and like go up through a vent? Because I see vents up I know. there. Oh, there we Come are. Come on. There we are. Yeah. And then because she's a she's a lovable rogue and she's not just gonna let him die, just before the portal closes, she decks him in the face and he blacks out so they don't have to show us how they get back to the portal. They also didn't want to show her hitting an eighty nine year old man. <laughs> and then he wakes up back in Brooklyn or wherever the fuck he is, and um that's pretty much it. Marion comes back. Oh, that is not it, actually. Because Marion comes back, and we end on a raunchy oh, yeah. note. Yeah. 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 Uh, we do the weird, this is where it hurts, kiss it bit. Gross. Kiss your shoulder. <laughs> Marion. <laughs> hey, I'll kiss that now. Right there. That's where it hurts. And that kiss sunspot. It. Kiss it. And that sunspot. <laughs> Kiss it. I've got to get that one lasered off soon. Kiss it. We're toxic as fuck, but God damn it, I love us, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> they were like about to fuck, probably. And then he like reaches out and grabs his hat. Babe, the fedora stays on. Yeah. And that's how we end it. We dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything? Yeah, can these? No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> a raft repair. Thank. Oh, uh, the raft, raft is in repair. here. Yeah, okay. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank here. God. Thank fucking God. Yeah. There we are. Thank Why God. Are we here. Nope. Uh, um. But it's got to be that, right? Well, that didn't work. I got to be closer. <laughs> Nope. But why? That didn't work. What? Oh, what? Wait, what? It just wanted to work now. What? I don't did exactly uh, what I've done. <laughs> uh. We said that we were just like really disappointed because we thought it was going to be fun bad. Like I said, I thought there was going to be a lot of time traveling, yep. that he Wacky. was going to be going back to various points throughout his life. Yep. I thought we were going to see like some Temple of Doom era thing of him in there having to do maybe something with the St. Carson. All of it was going to link up in some way. We were going to do some multiverse fucking yep. uh, Infinity War ass shit. Yep. Um, but we just didn't. No. I mean, and, and good. Yeah. Because right. it should just be a straightforward action and adventure Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. But it's just really boring. I like it. You know when you hear that music, you're in commie territory. Oh, Bill Ocean. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tian Shan. Oh, shit. Why aren't you aiming? <laughs> You better fucking pop the fuck yeah, off. Yeah, I can't. 
We are, we are running, 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 we're running, we're running, we're running, running. I mean, we've essentially said this, but like, no matter what you have, 85 year old Harrison Ford do, I don't care. That's what I've realized. He's too old. He's too old. Like we were saying in the video, it's an archetype. It's a character you want to see doing one type of thing, and he's too old to believably do that. The fact that you have to do a whole extended, young, de-aged Harrison Ford to try to get back the feeling of, like, these movies, it's done. A bunch Wait. of raft repair kits. Wait, what? That's got to be a glitch, right? And like, now that I think about it, I wouldn't want it because it's like we said in the video, Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones, but I'm gonna be real. If they were gonna make Crystal Skull in Dial of Destiny, I would rather that have been recast and a person who is 35 or whatever, who can do all these stunts and I'm not going, ooh, every time he, he when he jumps from the tuk-tuk into the other tuk-tuk and like slams into it, I'm just like, no 85 year old man is completing the mission. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. He he just threw out every muscle in his body. No. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna, <laughs> it's just gonna pop and I'm just gonna be fucking dead. God damn this game. <laughs> God fucking damn this game. God, I used, I, I did everything, did everything right. <laughs> Again, I don't want them to like, make up more of these movies with a new Indiana Jones. I don't want this woman who they were apparently like, she was the only one for this role. And, okay, I guess. I guess. Um, I can imagine anyone in this role. Yeah. Because again, it's it's not it's I not an amazing wanna, role. I don't want to, I'm not interested in seeing w Wombat Shaw and the Spear of Longinus. Yeah, no, that's the thing. I, I don't want that, but I think I would want that more than what we got. Yeah. And I'm... Totally. You edited it beautifully, that zoom in of Mangold's face when Harrison Ford is like, we're not doing this anymore. It's like, no, we are, motherfucker. Yeah. Like... Oh, they're doing one it. One way or another. Like, I don't know if his lawyer thoroughly read his contract, but after seeing what some of these studios plan for actors, I don't know if he hasn't already signed away... That's what I was thinking. ...the right for them yeah. to do that. Oh, it's the candle. Hey, God, for the beeswax candle. I, <laughs> oh, ah! my ah! no. oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. 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 Oh. <laughs> this fucking game, dude. I, I get I get it. Okay, okay, I'm fucking <laughs> I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. God fucking damn it. There's no way to avoid anything! How do you <laughs> There's there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. It's literally going to be like the day his obituary comes out, they're going to be like, Indiana Jones 6! <laughs> Indiana Jones 6 coming out next year! Yeah, right. <laughs> and they're already going to have all their fucking uh, character models in, mm -hmm. in, in Unreal Engine 5. I, I have no faith that they will let it fully die. Now, like you said, I think this man, as old as he is and all this shit, I think the funniest thing is is that the financial aspect of it will probably be the nail in the coffin. Yeah. The fact that they're like, we just spent like fucking six hundred million dollars <laughs> to put this movie out and it made like two hundred. But speaking of that, like yeah, like I don't want any more Indiana Jones movies. Make some like sick ass Indiana Jones video games and I'll play the shit out of that. Yeah, and we even said that like that opening bit would have been <laughs> such a sick cinematic if yeah. you just did took like like made it shorter, obviously. Yeah. But I mean as you should have with the real scene. But take that make it a fucking cinematic for a sick fucking absolutely awesome indiana jones video game yeah Can you imagine like, like a, a full like uncharted style indiana jones yeah. game yeah not like the infernal machine there's four candles dude I'm you think so you put one in each one of those rings at the end here pu pull out the candle out of the inventory it fits oh no! 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 You're right! No! Oh my fucking god, dude! 
me screaming might be the <laughs> most apt outro for this video we could never plan. <laughs> Wait, you didn't save it either? Did you? <laughs> oh, no. I guess I recommend it if you're an Indiana Jones fan because it's just like, why not? Right. Like, if you subjected yourself to Crystal Skull, this isn't really any worse yeah. or better. Uh, yeah, I can't say it's worse or better than Crystal Skull. The pros it's and like, cons list is this is the equally as long on, on both sides. I agree. And it's just like, you know, whatever. And nobody wins. Yeah, no one. Exactly. With both of them, nobody wins. There is one thing about... Dial of Destiny that you could maybe argue is objectively worse and it's just there's a lack of that like creative spark Look that kind of like know. Spielbergian especially in the fact that there's no near stabs of Indiana Jones penis or balls <laughs> at all and you know his dick and balls are always in danger and that's like a <laughs> that's like a Spielberg touch yeah, he didn't in in the siege of Syracuse have a spear launched at him, and he he backed up and spread his legs <laughs> apart, and it went in the sand yeah, right exactly. right between them. See, if Spielberg was it. making this movie, you you know that would have happened. What's this? What's that? It? It's a fucking candle. Yeah, right. no shit, dude. There's four of them. I don't know if you figured that it's out yet. It's what we've been doing for the last <laughs> hour. <laughs> it's why we're about to shoot ourselves, Indiana Jones. Well. I think that's all I really have to say. As we've, I think, probably said with almost everything else we've covered, hope it's done. Please. Hope is the last one. This is going to be a running theme with these videos. We're just going to be like, please, God, let this be the last one. We're always ready to riff again, but this just wasn't particularly good for riffage. No. I mean, we said it's going to be a 20-minute video. God damn, it's going to be another 40-fucking-minute video. But, yeah, so thanks, everybody, for joining us. I love having you here on the channel. Love you all. We will see you later. Peace.